Brought to you by International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 825. Ambassador, would you say that given the current situation and the fact that it's just not sustainable, that the current relationship between the state and public employees, that it's time to renegotiate that and look at that, particularly for new employees? I, I'm not, I wouldn't say that. Um, I, I think the state must own up to its side of the bargain. I chaired the original commission Let's on this. Clarify. I'm sorry, clarify yeah, yeah. that. You mean put, put, put the full amount of, of funding in. This, the, the amount the governor talked about is a step in the right direction. He mentioned dedicating lottery uh, proceeds to the pension funds. I haven't studied it yet to know whether or okay. not that makes sense, but I'm open-minded to that. We have to be creative. I think we throw money hand over fist to Wall Street, it, to hedge funds to manage our pension assets and they give us back very mediocre if not losing returns there's a lot of money there so we're gonna have to look to a lot of different places uh, to find find the money that we need to find but the state must own up to its end of the bargain construction companies work at the heart of our communities so do the operating engineers of local 825 who build our roads and bridges and ensure the safe transmission of energy that keeps us on the move Local 825 works with contractors as partners in quality, safety, and training. Our achievements stand as monuments to collaboration that will last for generations. This message has been brought to you by the members of Operating Engineers Local 825. Better building begins here. Also brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health, NJM, and by the New Jersey Education Association.